Before I introduce my next guest, I want to say a huge thank you to the devoted and brilliant artist and advocate Jill Wells. You may have seen the work she does in our communities here on Local 5. She told me about the Barbership Office Project that launched almost a year ago now. It's moving into a space that represents everything its partner, SQL Architecture, stands for. Using design as a tool for connecting people to place, celebrating the people who turn buildings into spaces worth caring about. And they're writing a new chapter, you could say, in a building story. So joining me now, Steve Wilkie Shapiro, architect and owner of SQL Architecture. So the history of this building, we know very much about at this point. And what you had told me, beautifully said before the show, this is not about your story, it's about preserving the space, right? Right. We're just caretakers of this building. Yeah. We're sort of, we use the metaphor writing the next chapter in the building's story, right? You do a lot of work throughout Des Moines. You're known <laughs> everywhere for all your renovations. What was different about this, this particular project, bringing so many people together and telling the history of this building? Well, obviously not a, it's not only personal to me as it's gonna be our office, but also just, you know, we're working there day in, day out to, to renovate the building. Mm -hmm. And not a week went by when somebody didn't stop in, knock on the door, and tell us a story about having their hair cut or mm. their first child's hair cut by Harlan Thomas in this, in this shop. For how many buildings you've worked on, this had to be something special with the progress that is happening around this renovation. Uh, you have mentioned too, you know, you've heard stories of lines being out of the barber shop when it was a full running shop. What do you want to see on Monday when the grand opening happens? On Monday, we would love to replicate that. Um, Mr. Thomas told the story of on Saturday mornings, he would get there at 8 a.m., right? And there would already be people wait, queuing up, waiting mm. for to get their hair cut. Love to have something like that happen on our open house. Yeah, this building it has so much history and so much stories in it. Originally a grocery store and then into a barber shop. And now look at the work that's been done in this space. What you're seeing here is a journey of this building. It's really incredible to see the stories in these walls. So Jill Wells, the artist, behind this, she told me about this, and um, to see her also have art that's gonna be unveiled. Tell us about her unveiling Monday night. Right, so Jill has been working for months to um, connect with people who know Mr. Thomas, who had their hair cut there, um, who have stories to tell about this building. And she's been documenting those stories um, and creating a work of art that's going to be mounted on the wall in the entry. So we'll be unveiling that at the grand opening as um, a, next Monday. As a designer, this has got to be eye-opening, um, enlightening for you growing up in Iowa. And you've the people you've met through this, what's this been like to learn their stories? All right. Well, that's it's kind of it's kind of what we're about. Yes. Like we focus on historic buildings um, and every building. We give meaning to the buildings that we inhabit by the things that happen there, the connections mm -hmm. that we make with other people there. Um, so it becomes more than just, more than just a pile of sticks, right? It mm -hmm. becomes a place that, that's meaningful to the people who, who live, work, and play there. And I love that you used the word care for the building because it's, that, it's exactly what it deserves. You know, the history behind it, it deserves someone with a caring uh, approach to all the work that you do. All right, let's get the details. The address, the times, what's going down Monday? Uh, Monday from four to seven, we're hosting an open house. Um, December 11th, uh, the address is 2513 Woodland Avenue and we'd love to have people stop by and Check it out. And then I believe it's 5.30. Jill is going to unveil her masterpiece added to this. It's just really incredible to get your perspective in all the work that you do, all the renovations that you do, and to also see the community building that's happening out of this. It is so much more than an office space, right? Absolutely. So what do you hope to see as you come in day in and day out? It's going to be, <laughs> I feel like it's going to speak to you in maybe a different way other buildings haven't. Yeah, well, we're, we're an architecture firm, but we're going to be, this building is located right in the middle of the Woodland Heights neighborhood, right? So we want to be a part of that community just like the barbershop was and the grocery store before it. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to be there. It might be a little past my bedtime, but truly the work that you're doing, it is it's just bringing communities together in a beautiful way. 